In this video, we'll talk about surface integrals, which is basically summing up a function over a three-dimensional surface. Let's consider the following motivating question. So suppose that a surface in space defined by z equals f of xy has varying density rho of xyz. What we want to do is to find the mass of the surface over a region r on the xy plane. So let's start by drawing a picture of this. So here we have three-dimensional space with our surface z equals f of xy. What we're interested in is the mass of a portion of this surface over a region r on the xy plane. Let's say that I have the following region r. The portion of the surface that's on top of the region r might look something like this. If the surface has constant density, then to find the mass, all we have to do is take the density times the surface area. Since the density varies depending on the point, to find the mass of this portion of the surface, in some sense, we have to add up the density at every single point on the surface. When we add up a function over points on the surface, that's a surface integral. So we can figure out how to do this by setting up a Riemann sum. First, I'm going to take my region R and divide it into small rectangles, each of width delta x and length delta y. Each of these small rectangles, I'm going to approximate the mass of the surface above it. To approximate the mass, I'm going to make two assumptions. First, I'm going to assume that the density is constant on this piece of the surface. I'm also going to assume that instead of having a curved surface, I just have a flat plane. These two assumptions will help me approximate the mass of the surface much easier. Notice that with these two assumptions, when I take my rectangular regions to be smaller and smaller, the approximation to the mass is going to get better and better. So let's focus on a piece of the surface over one rectangular region. I'm going to approximate this piece of the surface by replacing it with the tangent plane. Since the mass is the density times the surface area, I need to figure out the surface area of that plane. And we can do this by thinking about this in terms of vectors. First, let's say that the point right here is xi, yi. So I have a corresponding point on my surface, xi, yi, f of xi, yi. So my tangent plane approximation is based on that point. Now the vector going in the x direction will be given by delta x, 0, partial derivative of f with respect to x evaluated at xi, yi, times delta x. And the vector going in the y direction will be given by 0 delta y partial derivative of f with respect to y evaluated at xi yi times delta y. Now that we have the two vectors bordering the edge of that tangent plane, we can find the area of that plane by taking the magnitude of the cross product. You take the cross product of the two black vectors, you get negative fx at xi yi times delta x delta y, negative fy evaluated at xi yi times delta x delta y, and then lastly, delta x delta y. So again, the area of the tangent plane is the magnitude of that cross product. So calculating the magnitude, we have square root of fx evaluated at xi yi squared plus fy evaluated at xi yi squared plus 1 times delta x delta y. So now we can approximate the mass of the surface above this small rectangular region. So the mass is approximately the density times the surface area. The density we're going to assume to be constant, rho of xi yi zi, where zi is f of xi yi, times the area of the tangent plane. So that's times square root of fx at xi yi squared plus fy at xi yi squared plus 1 times delta x delta y. The next step of the Riemann sum is to add up each of these approximate masses over the entire region R. So the mass of the surface is approximately the sum of the density times surface areas across each of the regions. And our last step is to take the limit as the rectangular regions get smaller and smaller. When the rectangular regions get smaller and smaller, the approximation gets better and better, and so when we take the limit, this gives us the exact mass of the surface. So we say that the mass of the surface is equal to the double integral of the density function rho times square root of fx squared plus fy squared plus 1 
dx dy. If we call our surface S, then this integral is what we call the surface integral of the function rho over the surface S. And we denote surface integrals with a double integral over S of rho ds. So that's where I'll end this video. In our next video, we'll look at how to calculate these surface integrals.